But first, some military families are worried about their safety, even though they live on base housing. We investigated their concerns about crime at the Lincoln Military Housing Community near Naval Station Norfolk, and we learned police responded to at least seven incidents since Friday. Residents tell us something needs to change. Only 10 on your side's Matt Gregory has been looking into this all night long. And Matt, what kinds of crimes are we talking about here? Tom, the crimes we're talking about are petty crimes, but they're also like theft and assault. And this past weekend, it reached a scary climax in a 48-hour stretch. Now, neighbors tell me they have no choice. They're going to try to take matters into their own hands. It's gotten to a point in this complex where there are families now that don't want to go trick-or-treating because they're actually afraid to take their children here. Lauren and Matt Hill live right in the heart of Lincoln Military Housing in the Ben Murillo community. It's a neighborhood they say they noticed a change in a few months ago. Over the summer, there was a course of different car break-ins that occurred. Um, it was very simple. Cars were left at, open. They came in, they stole change, ransacked the cars, and that was about it. Um, and then over the course of the last couple of weeks, it's begun to escalate. The escalation built to a weekend of crime. In just two days, Norfolk police responded to seven crimes in a half mile area. We had vandalism on the side of a house. There's been two assaults, one on which it was a child. Um, there's been things stolen out of people's driveways. The tires slashed. You can see the damage done to one home. Holes bashed into walls and rooms ransacked. From petty theft to the knocked over garbage cans. The small things we could let go kids will be kids, but when it starts to become, you know, an issue where people are having their homes destroyed and, you know, things come out of their pocket and you have to worry about going to work, you know, that's when it's it's too much. The Hills say they and other families have talked to Lincoln Military Housing to see if they can increase security and start a neighborhood watch. But in the meantime, some neighbors can't wait. We've had several residents now lately that have been walking the streets at night, just walking around with their dogs to make sure that they see anything. In Tell your site called Lincoln Military Housing to find out what they're doing. Their offices were closed for the day, but we also emailed them as well. We'll continue to investigate what they can do to improve security, and we'll bring that to you. Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.